borrowing a small account with Matt Williamson. You are watching a Theotrade presentation. Again, my name is Don Kaufman. I am the co-founder here of Theotrade. I'd like to do a little bit of an introduction uh, for Matt this evening. I'm also going to chime in from time to time. So we've got quite a bit to cover this evening. As I said, we'll get to a couple of, uh, you know, uh, informalities out of the way right up front. One of them is a risk disclosure. We're not financial advisors, nor a broker dealer. We also like to throw this in here. Uh, myself, a few other individuals here at Theotrade. We're actually from the brokerage world, which I'll talk about here uh, momentarily. So uh, there's the risk disclosure. Next, copyright disclaimer. This is ours. This is not yours. And, you know, the other thing, the real reason I like to throw this up here, see right here where it says support Theotrade.com. Listen, we're based right here in Scottsdale, Arizona, okay? Um, if you need to get a hold of us after this evening or this evening, you can always shoot us an email. Just support at theotrade.com. If you want to get a hold of me directly, just put Don Kaufman in the header. You want to get a hold of uh, Matt Williamson, put Matt in the header of the email. It goes right to him, right? It's our telephone number, all of our information. That's important to me that uh, that you guys know that right, uh, right up front. All right. going to gonna get rid of that we'll keep moving right on over here all right next over here a little housekeeping there's a couple couple things i want to mention up front so what you guys are going to be tuned into this evening okay and what matt is going to cover i'll tell you right now there's a reason matt's doing this presentation okay this is his genre of trade okay this is what he specializes in Okay, and I'm going to talk about Theotrade here momentarily, but at Theotrade, we have seven full-time instructors, and everybody specializes in an area, in a degree of trade, and what you're going to hear tonight, you just don't see, okay, anywhere else, plain and simple. This, again, is Matt's wheelhouse, and that's why people ask, like, listen, me, I've got over 20 years of experience in trading. Um... I was at Thinkorswim when it was a startup brokerage firm, you know, made markets before that. I come from a family of traders. But again, this is my genre, okay? Matt will absolutely smoke me in this genre of trading, and that's exactly why he is doing this particular presentation this evening. Now, a few housekeeping items as well. Number one, what you're going to learn tonight, this is skill set. I can't stress this enough. This is a skill set. Pay attention. He's going to fly through a lot of material, okay? I say shut the door you know, turn off Skype, chat, Facebook crap, okay? I'm not a Facebook fan. Um, is anybody a Facebook fan? Even Twitter, shut it down. Phone's on silent mode, okay? Kick out the kids, get rid of the kids, get rid of the, uh, you know, the animals in there. Unless, you know, the dog is quiet. Listen, you took the time to be here. I think it's important to be here, to pay attention uh, because you took the time to be here. Now, before we bring on Matt, a little bit about Theo Trade. So as we were saying, uh, I actually spent over 20 years of, uh, of my career in trading, okay? And we talk about, uh, you know, trading and so forth. So I started on the market making side of the business, was a risk manager and so forth. And I progressed eventually and I ended up running and building the education division of Thinkorswim. Then I went on to actually build, okay, and manage uh, the education for TD Ameritrade, and I actually ran education for TD Ameritrade uh, up until 2015. At that point is when we uh, we left. We just had it. We'd had it. And, all, and when I say all of us, there's a bunch of us here at Theotrade that were from okay this side of the business. We were market makers. Okay, then we ran part of a brokerage firm. We finally exited. Boom, build Theotrade, which is education outside of the construct of a brokerage firm. We can actually talk okay about trading when we're outside of the brokerage firm, and I can't stress that enough. So when we were building Theotrade and we were looking, okay, for different instructors in their genre of trading, I didn't want somebody, okay, that was like me. I didn't want somebody that was from the market making background. I understand market making, okay. I understood. I've stood down on a floor in Chicago. You know, I've worked upstairs, then obviously ran part of a brokerage firm. I wanted somebody vastly different, and I started asking around. This is this is actually about the 2016 timeframe for a year. Okay, I looked around in this industry literally for a year, and I kept trying to say like, "Hey, I want somebody that's not a market maker that has incredible experience in terms of trading." And I'm telling you, okay, 
the people that I asked, and I get to that in just a moment, kept saying the exact same thing. And they kept coming up with the same name. It's actually how we found Matt Williamson. And the final, the final straw for me was I actually called in a favor at TD Ameritrade. And this is after I had you know, exited TD Ameritrade. I had been out of the company now for almost 18 months. And I called in a favor. I actually called okay, one of the top risk managers of TD Ameritrade. Now, it sounds like a bad thing. It's a risk manager. But the risk managers, they know everybody that trades big. And we actually checked out Matt. And we vetted Matt. And his name and all the different risk managers that I talked to, his name kept coming up as somebody that is not only viable, somebody that trades, it's one of the largest individual retail, okay, client traders in the industry. And again, you know, after, you know, a year of hearing the same name again and again, we finally tracked down Matt. It took us a little while to convince him, but uh, Matt, as I've told you a couple of times, and I'm going to bring on Matt now, I've told Matt a, a number of times here is, uh, I said, by the way, he was, uh, you know, I was kind of interviewing at one point. Are you with me, Matt? You can, you, can you. Turn on, yeah. <laughs> you can turn on your volume now. So uh, I've told this to a couple times to Matt. Uh, you know, one of the first times I talked to him, I uh, uh, he said, he goes, well, do you need any references or anything like that? I go, no, I vetted you. He's like, well, how did you do that? I go, well, I called the guy at uh, TD Ameritrade that runs risk for the entire firm. We just looked at your account. <laughs> and he's like, you can do that? I go, no, you're not supposed to do that. He goes, well, how'd you do it? I go, I made a phone call. I go, uh, you know, the guy was practically like my best man at the wedding. So he uh, gave me a little information regarding that. And that's that's how we uh, that's how we actually came to be. So Matt is one of our lead instructors here at Theotrade. And uh, Matt, with that, I'm going to I'm going to turn it over to you for uh, for a couple of minutes over here and let you have at it. Thank you, Don. I uh, hope everybody can hear me OK. Uh, I appreciate that very warm welcome and kind intro. Uh, by the way, I had no idea any of that was going on during that whole process. <laughs> so it was, uh, I was uh, I was surprised to get that call from Don. It was nice. It was a good call. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with uh, with why you are here, and um, just talk for a minute about what I hope you are going to get out of our webcast tonight. So I want you to walk away with the following things this evening. So <clears throat> first of all, how professionals trade in comparison to how retail traders trade. Now, how do I know that? Is because I've been on both sides of this. I have been exactly where you are as a retail trader. I know what it feels like. I know how I traded. I, I, you know, I know a lot of retail traders from doing coaching. I know how it works. And uh, I've been lucky enough to transition over into a professional trader. So now I know how professionals trade. So I have a unique perspective and that I've been on both sides of the fence. So I can speak to both sides of things. All right, the second thing I want you to walk away with is how to find, how to quantify, and how to exploit inefficiencies in the marketplace. All right, the third thing is how to use those inefficiencies in conjunction with strategy to help you grow a small account with consistency. All right, and then number four, how to, how to trade in a way that does not involve staring at a trading screen. Okay, when I was first learning how to trade, I spent way too many hours in front of my trading screen and, you know, not nearly enough hours doing things that I actually enjoy doing. I like trading, don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know, I, it was, there's other things I want to do in, in life there uh, other than sit in front of a screen. Okay. Okay, so uh, before we go any further, I do want to say if you can hang with me to the end of today's webcast, I'm going to give you a tool that I call the Personal Profit Predictor. PPP, triple P. Okay, and I'm gonna show you to it. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second here. And what it is, it's a simple way to track your stock trades and to quantify your results. So one of the things I'm gonna be talking about tonight is quantification, putting numbers behind your trading so that you actually know what your success looks like. Okay, and this tool, this particular tool, is a total game changer for a lot of retail traders. All right, a lot of traders out there do not track their trades. All right. Um, there's a lot of knowledge that goes into this thing. And ultimately, it boils down to what is going to make you successful in the market. What's responsible for success in the market? OK, and that boils down to a few different stats. Let me just take a minute. I'm going to roll over to Excel and I just want to show it to you. OK, it's a tool. It's set up pretty simply. You put your ticker in here 
And this actually links to Thinkorswim. So if you're trading on Thinkorswim platform, this is gonna pull in the stock price for you. And it's pretty simple. You put your entry date in, you put your entry price in, you put your quantity in, you put whether or not you bought or sold it. And then you've got some triggers in here that you can actually set up for yourself. So I put a few in there just to kind of give you some to start with. It's got some exit signals if you wanna track those. And you can put whatever you want as your entry signal and your exit signal, just so that you can personalize it a bit. When you exit the trade, it's set up for you know stepped exits, so you don't just have to exit one piece. So when you exit your trade, you put it over here. You put your quantity over here. If you want, you can add a trigger over here to let you know why you uh, took the trade off. And then what's gonna happen is as you populate all of these things, I gave you about 100, I think there's 86 or so in there, right? As you start filling these up, it's going to start collecting stats on your trade. You can see we've got time in trade, we've got your total cash flow, we've got your P&L as a percent, your share is open, this is gonna be zero if your share, if your uh, trade is closed, obviously, and it's gonna kick over and say, hey, your, your trade's closed. All right, which is kind of cool in and of itself, but really, the power behind this thing comes right here. All right, now a lot of these are divided by zero errors because I haven't filled in the sheet, but I did go ahead and fill in a few trades for you on, the, uh, on this particular trigger that I set up. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna come in and say, hey, you won one trade, you lost two trades. Your average win is this, your average win, or your average loss rather is this. And this is the number you need to focus on as a retail or professional trader. And this is gonna tell you what you can expect to make on every trade going forward. All right, if you run a casino, <laughs> and I don't think anyone in here runs a casino, I've never run a casino, but if you run a casino, this is the only number you care about. All right, all you have to do is have a little bit of positive expectancy and allocate properly, and you will be a successful casino owner, I think. I'm sure there's a little bit more to it than that. I haven't run a casino. But if you're a trader, this is the only number you should care about. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to find it, how to get it, how to find some edge so that you're on the right side of that number. Okay, so hang with me to the end of our webcast tonight, and I'm gonna give you that tool uh, for free. Okay, uh, let me go back over to PowerPoint here. Okay, so hang with me to the end. It's a very useful tool. All right, so as Don said, he gave me a, a great intro, and uh, you know, I've got some bullet points up here. I've already mentioned a couple things, but really, uh, what I want to what I want to get across to you that's so important for me to do is that I have <laughs> I've spent so many hours on webcasts and webinars and you know this and that and the other and I have seen everything you can possibly see in terms of someone trying to tell me that they have the thing that I need that's going to make me a successful trader. I've seen every single one of them. Okay, I'm to the point now where I can smell it a mile away if someone is full of it. Okay, and what I want to tell you is that you know first of all I'm, I'm not even comfortable saying this because I'm not the kind of person that's going to say this. But I've done it. I can do it. I've done it and I can show you how to do it. All right. I've traded professionally for a while. I traded retail for a long time and I spent many, many, many years educating. All right. I come from an education and a trading background. Okay. So I can show it to you and I'm going to prove it to you. Okay. I've, I've, as I said, I've, uh, I've seen a lot, a lot, a lot of people say that they can do something. So I'm actually going to do something a little unusual. Uh, no one ever does this on any kind of webinar like this, but I'm actually going to show you my trading account. Okay, I'm gonna cut live to my actual trading account here. Uh, I wanna preface it by saying it is a small account and I wanted to use a small account for this exercise because not a lot of people trade huge, right? A lot of people trade smaller accounts. So I think it's important to trade in a small account for this kind of purpose. So I'm actually gonna go to my live trading account for a minute. All right, this is Thinkorswim. I've got my actual account number up here. It makes me a little nervous to do it. I don't think anybody's going after this account. Um, so I'm gonna go show you in my account statement all right, this is 10 nice. this is October the 9th. And if you're not familiar with Thinkorswim, here's the account value October 9th, okay? That was uh, about four months ago. Okay, and here's the account value now. Okay, and I know it's not a huge account value, that's, that's not really the point. What I wanna point out is that this number and this number, it's a difference of 110% in four months. All right, four months. And I, again, I'm not comfortable bragging. I don't say that to brag. The only reason I put it on the screen is because I want you to know that it's not, uh, what, what's the word I should use here? It's not, uh, it's not fake. It's not hype. It's a real number over here and a real number over here. Okay, this was done without any deposits, 
no, uh, you know, no replenishing the account. It's just 110% growth in four months. Okay, so everyone think about your account for a minute and think about what 110% looks like in four months. You compound that, it gets ridiculous really, 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 really fast. Okay, uh, it's important. I, I wanna show it to you. And, you know, I also kind of want to point out that, let me get the ink off the screen there. You know, you have every right to be skeptical. Um, as I mentioned, I was plenty skeptical. Uh, I'm still skeptical of people that claim to do things and don't show proof to back it up. You know, I spent many, many years chasing the magic pill, and I was disappointed many times, more times than I count on fingers and toes. And, uh, you know, what I want to get across to you tonight is that there's a right way to trade, and I want to prove to you that I did it, and I can show you how to do it. And, um, you know, there was no pot stocks in there, no penny stocks, no day trading. These are just swing swing trades. It's totally possible. All right. Uh, so let's go onward and upward here. So here is uh, just a quick shot of me doing my thing, teaching live in front of about 300 traders at our annual retreat in Scottsdale. Uh, very fun thing. Very cool to be, uh, to be able to get up on the stage and do it live. Always super cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start teaching here for a minute. I'm going to put my teacher hat on. And we're going to start talking about what it is you need to be doing to get those kinds of returns. Okay, so I always like to start out with the failure formula because this is the thing that, that many people do. And, and I, you know, I don't say it to, uh, to castigate any of my retail trading friends here, uh, but we're all guilty of these things at one point or another. Even the professionals do it from time to time. Okay, but these are the things that are going to kill you as a retail trader. And if you don't know what they are, then you're gonna just be getting slaughtered all over the side of the road, not knowing why you're not winning trades and not, why, not knowing why you're not successful. Okay, so the three things that you can do to fail in markets is to trade without an edge, call this trading blind. And again, I'm not immune to it. I spent uh, probably three or four years uh, trading volatility on the short side and the systems worked, but I didn't know why they worked. I didn't have any idea what the edge was. Um, you know, since then I've gone back and looked and it's a pretty thin edge. It's there, but it's it's pretty thin. And, uh, you know, I don't I don't like trading like that anymore. All right. Uh, the second thing you're going to do if you're going to if you're not going to be successful in the market is to trade in an inconsistent way. Trade without a consistent strategy. Uh, I can think back to one of the times when I was you know learning uh, to trade a bit and I was all over the place. I was following this person, that person doing MACD divergence trading and longs and shorts. I was just all over the place. I didn't have anything consistent that I could actually go to that I knew worked and that I was comfortable with, all right? And the last thing is discipline, okay? If you have limited, poor, or no risk management at all, this is the thing that will actually blow you up, all right? You can get lucky with the first two, but if you get unlucky with the third one, you're dead. Your trading account is absolutely toast, okay? And I've, I've done it. I've, I've traded with, uh, with poor discipline and it, it hurt. Uh, I'm here to tell you that it hurt. And if I can save one person on this webcast, the pain <laughs> that me and my family experienced from that hurt, then uh, I, I will walk away a happy a happy teacher and a happy guy. I want to save you from some of that pain because it's, it's painful not having discipline. Okay. So the natural corollary to that is to do the opposite, right? As, as George Casanza would say, I'm going to do the opposite. All right. We need to, we need to have repeatable, logical, permanent edge that's not going anywhere. We need to have a strategy that can properly exploit that edge. And we need to have discipline to manage our risk and allocate properly. Okay, and I, and I like to use this next graphic here because it's, it's just much cleaner. All right, and I always ask people like, which one are you missing? Which two are you missing? You know, some people are missing all three. And uh, you know, in some ways it's easier to teach those folks because they're a blank slate, right? You can just start working on each one and, and fine tune them. Okay, so I just want you to think for a minute and, and tell yourself, or tell me, feel free to jump into the, uh, the question there and, and chat it in if you want. Uh, but I want you to think about which one you're missing. Are you missing the edge piece? Are you missing the strategy piece? Are you missing the discipline piece? From my experience, most retail traders are missing edge and they're missing discipline, right? A lot, of, a lot of people have various strategies. They may not be consistent with their strategy, but a lot of people do have some strategy, okay? If you happen to have some strategy and some discipline, you're just going to be confused at why you're not winning all your trades. If you happen to have some strategy and some edge, congratulations. You are well on your way to becoming a professional trader. However, it's very dangerous because you don't have the discipline yet. 
Okay, if you have some edge and some discipline, that's just frustrating because you don't have the right strategy. Uh, you could be making a lot more, you're probably leaving some money on the table in that case. All right, so you really have to have all three. You gotta have edge, you gotta have discipline, and you gotta have strategy. Okay, so just, you know, make a note. Uh, write it down, which one are you missing? If you're, you happen to be watching this on a recording, <laughs> you know, write it on a big piece of paper. Write it on giant poster word and stick it on your wall. All right, because that's the thing you need to be successful. Okay, so we're just gonna go through those one at a time for just a moment to elaborate on uh, on each piece. So edge is simply a structural inefficiency. What I mean by that is that it's something that creates a disparity somewhere that you can exploit. Okay, it's a loophole somewhere in the market. All right, it's there for some reason or another and it's not going anywhere. Okay, I, I just wanna talk about a couple of examples of edge so we can understand it better. Right? If you don't have edge, uh, you're going to be in trouble. That's one of the three pieces we need. So a great example is high frequency trading. Right? Before they had uh, super, super fast machines that can take advantage of this, you'd have the price of a stock on one exchange that would be a slight mismatch to the price of that same stock on another exchange. And someone came along and said, hey, listen, we can trade one against the other and make a killing. And so they took those, they took and built some really, really, really fast machines. And they took those two things and made a killing. And, uh, you know, a lot of people like to hate on uh, high frequency trading, but it really makes the marketplace much more efficient because that edge has been squashed out of it. Uh, now you've got, you know, you get fills in the fraction of pennies sometimes. Okay, so that's that would be an example of edge that is now gone. Okay, another example of edge, this is one I personally stumbled upon uh, a couple of years back. There was a, a huge, huge disparity between uh, two two um, two contracts on a on Facebook. Right? It was uh, sort of a weird weird trade, a little off the beaten path. Um, and there was a company that had just mispriced something, basically a market making firm that had mispriced something. Can't can't tell you who it is. I know who it is, but I can't tell you. And um, they actually lost a few million dollars because of that mispricing. So some of my fellow traders and I were able to go in and uh, and exploit it. So there's that, there's a lot of places. Night, was that night financial? <laughs> <laughs> uh, was not nice. Okay, because uh, I remember that one. I was involved in that one. That's all oh, right. No. <laughs> Sorry, I had to no, jump was... in on that. I just, you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... That's okay. I'll, no. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you all about it later. All so, right. Uh, it's an interesting story. Uh, then I talked to a guy recently also that was trading some kind of synthetic option against a credit instrument. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of ways to find uh, loopholes in the market, and your job is to find it before you do anything. You got to find that edge before you place a single trade. Okay. All right, so moving on to strategy, once you have that edge, you know, once you know the trade you want to take, um, you know, a lot of a lot of people come from a stock trading background, and there's two ways it can move, right? It can move up, it can move down. It can go nowhere, right? It can go nowhere, and uh, even if it goes nowhere, it's probably going to go up and down to actually get to nowhere in the end. All right, and just a fun fact here, let's say you're trading something like Apple, and you're trying to trade in a 10-point range. Okay, there's, there's literally a million different ways, and I'm not exaggerating, that's the actual number. There are a million different combinations of stop losses and profit targets that you can put on if you're taking a trade in a 10-point range in Apple. And which one of those million you choose will have a huge effect on your account balance. All right, so you gotta have the right strategy, whether it's you know risk one to make two, risk 10 to make 15, risk 1.3 to make 2.7, whatever that, um, you know, whatever your particular strategy is, it's going to have an effect on your P&L, all right? So knowing what strategy to use is that second step, okay? Discipline, discipline. You must manage risk first and foremost, okay? For every dollar you lose today, you're losing thousands of dollars later because of compounding, okay? If you're not, uh, if you're not comfortable with compounding, go look that one up. Compounding is a huge force in, uh, in growing an account. Okay, so you got to manage and minimize that risk. And this is by far the most important. If you don't do this, you're going to lose your account at some point. You're going to blow up in a fiery, uh, you know, just crash. It's going to be terrible. I can tell you because I've done it. It's awful. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and cover the core strategy and trade logic. This is where I'm going to start showing you uh, how to find these things. And we're going to go through, uh, you know, some real, real world example of, um, of edge. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to show you where the edge is. Okay, so let's get some edge. All right, so let's say we think Apple is going uh, up, probably up. It's been going up for the last 6,000 years. So let's look at the chart. All right, I'm gonna go back to the chart here. I think we can all probably agree that Apple 
Why am I not seeing five years worth of data here? There we go. Just had to catch up. All right, Apple, pretty big, pretty big tear, right? All the way up through here. Had a little hiccup there last uh, Christmas, not last Christmas, the Christmas before, that whole December meltdown. And then since then, holy cow, straight up, right? Straight up. Okay. Um, however, can we structure a trade out of that? Sure, let's get long, right? But how do you time it? How do you know that you should be getting long? Are you just guessing? Are you taking a hunch? The cab driver told you? Uh, anyone that got long Tesla recently pretty much just did so out of the fact that everybody else got long, right? Um, by the way, if you, if you are long Tesla, congratulations. You just made a gazillion dollars. <laughs> Um, but, you know, with our system, I know exactly with conviction when to get long or when to get short. Uh, I know. I know exactly what my odds are. I know exactly what I can expect to happen. And having conviction in the market is a very, very different way to trade than going on a hunch or a guess or using some basic technicals. All right. So I'm going to introduce the tool that I'm using to tell me exactly when to get long and when to get short. Here's a little screenshot of it, but I think it's probably more effective if we just jump into the tool itself. All right, so let me go in here. And I'm gonna show you the tool. This is what it looks like. All right, and I took a trade on American Airlines earlier, live in my account, just to show you, just to prove it to you. Here's the trade. I'm not making these things up. There it is, it's an American Airlines trade. All right, so we'll go back to the tool here. And I looked at a signal that popped up on American uh, American Airlines. It happened to be a 20 SMA, that's simple moving average, across the butts. So say American Airlines cost above, across above its 20 period simple moving average. So what I do, I throw it into my little tool here, and it spits out all kinds of useful data about what happened every single time that American Airlines crossed above its 20 period moving average. And just to kind of explain, what we're doing is looking at a ton of historical data. There's 20 years of historical price data over here that we're looking at, and then we're crunching all that data down to, uh, to form an expectation. All right, what we're doing is we're looking at a tremendous amount of data, and we're crunching it into an expectation. Okay, and our expectation is, there's that expectancy that I talked about earlier. Our expectation is, if we go long here, if we take a bullish trade on American Airlines, we have a positive expectancy of 2.64%. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but 2.64% over 12 trading days, you multiply that out by a year, all of a sudden you got yourself a very nice trading system, okay? And then with our system, we can actually see the distribution data. We can see all kinds of data about exactly where American Airlines landed. We can go in and look at probabilities. There's all kinds of stuff we can do with this thing. All right, so it's a super, super cool, I'm gonna put cool in quotes here. It's a little, it's a little nerdy, I'm not gonna be honest. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a little bit nerdy, uh, but I like it because it tells me so much, all right? It tells me all this stuff that I need to know and have conviction that I'm about to get long and I'm probably gonna be right, all right? And if you want more data, we got all that stuff I just showed you. We got time and trade. You can modify the moving averages. You know, it's, it's a ridiculously cool tool. All right, and it took me, just to go back here, it took me hundreds of hours to create this thing, okay? And it's it's about the closest thing you can get to a crystal ball, okay? And this is the thing I used to make that 110%, all right? This is the tool I'm using to turn that $1,500 into $3,300 in just a few months, okay? It's crazy, 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 crazy. And it can't be found anywhere else. This is something, you know, I just made. And again, it took me hundreds of hundreds of hours to make it. And I'm super proud of it, as you can tell. All right, so once we have that, once we have that edge, once we know with conviction what we're doing here, now we got to choose our strategy. That's piece two of the little trading triangle, right? Um, so everyone says, well, this part's easy. We're gonna, we're gonna get long, All right? But we already talked about that. We don't know where to put our stop. We don't know if we should risk one to make three or risk three to make seven or whatever the ratio is. We don't know. You know, do we use wide stops, narrow stops? Do we cut the losers and let the winners run like everyone says? But how far should they run? There's just so many things to think about. There's too many variables. Okay. And then the, the question that I always ask is, <laughs> you know, this is one you can just scream at the screen because everyone's felt this frustration, right? Have you ever been stopped out of a trade <laughs> and then watched it? Go your way. That is the most irritating thing in the market. 
right? You put your trade on and you immediately get knocked out of it and it goes a thousand points in your direction. Uh, I have so many times and it's just infuriating, right? So what we need, what we need here is a flexible stop, a malleable stop, a stop that can't get taken out. And what that equates to is the O word. Ooh, we need to use an option. <laughs> so, so Matt, I got I to gotta chime in there. First of all, you know, I, I was watching you go through your spreadsheet there and uh, it's, it's okay to call yourself a geek. It's all right. You know, you are. Uh, it's you, true. You missed your calling as an engineer. I'm sure of it. You know, I wanted to chime in under the, uh, you know, what you kind of call the O word with, with options. So, you know, one of the things that I will continually stress, because obviously options being like, I mean, that's my area of kind of expertise. This is where I think that a lot of, of clientele in the, in the brokerage world, whether they have a TD Ameritrade account or they have an E-Trade account or, or a Charles Schwab account, they still, there's like apprehension around it. And you got to understand in today's world, I mean, here we are in 2020, okay, these products are to manage your risk. And I just cannot stress this enough that, you know, the options in this business, they are going to be the quickest, the fastest, the safest, the easiest way to get where you want to go in the markets. But there is going to be a little bit of a learning curve in there. And, I, you know, I love the analogy that you have over here. It's something I've talked about for years. I mean, you know, if you if you wanted to go out there, you wanted to build a house, you know, you're not going to, you know, go out there with a handsaw and cut every single two by four. You're going to use a power saw. It's the same thing like with options, you know, it's they're extremely safe. You know how to use them. And, you know, when you were talking about stops a minute ago, it just really resonates with me because, you know, the need for, for stop orders, people that use stops, they're out there. OK, and they're trying to build a house with, you know, hand tools. They're trying to, you know, to to build an entire house. They don't have the right tools and they don't get that. And and that's the one thing, like if there's if there's one thing I would hammer into everybody that was involved in markets, even if you're not necessarily going to trade the options, you have to have degrees of understanding of them in today's marketplace. You know, back in 2015, when I was at TD Ameritrade, we had 7 million clients, 7 million clients. And you look, you know, when, when you have that many clients and you're managing the entire education division, we used to look at subsets of what people did in their accounts. Literally, we would study people's accounts. Successful trades, okay, are the ones that managed risk. And the management of risk came by means of options. So, sorry, I had to interrupt over there. But, I mean, people asking, why, why should I use them? You know, the O word. You should use them because that's how you're going to manage your risk. I mean, that's that's what they're effective for. And, you know, Tesla couldn't be a better example. I mean, you could have gone out and done trades on Tesla today, limited your risk to a, to $125. Did you do it? Oof. No. People lost like tens of thousands of dollars today. I got to try to get short. I try to get long. Okay. I was a loser. Mitigate risk with options. Sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't blame you. Don and I are really, both very passionate about this because obviously he spends so much time around it and you know, I'm in the same boat, like Tesla, like just like Don said, Tesla's a fantastic example. Uh, you traded Tesla today. You probably had a real stressful day. Even if you had a good day, you had a really stressful day. Um, and trying to figure out where that thing's going to reverse, where it's going to do this. And what you need is a hard stop. You need something, a floor on the losses, right? That's what a stop is. It's supposed to be a floor on losses. But here's the cool thing about options. You can have a hard stop that can't be early triggered. It cannot be triggered early. There's no way that an option can be triggered early. You know, just using Tesla as the example here, uh, Tesla, I believe, almost hit 1,000 today, which is nuts. Right, but then I think it got up to like maybe 950. Uh, so if you were in an option and you traded that thing, maybe from I don't know, I think it, it opened at like <laughs> I think it opened at 700s, right? It, it opened uh, somewhere pretty high. It, it, let's say you wrote it up 40 points, right? And you want to lock in some of those gains, put a stop loss in there. Um, you know, you could you could hold that option and ride it up to 1200 if that's where it's going in the next couple of days. But if you have the stop there, you get stopped out. So the cool thing about options. Just like Don said, it's an incredible risk management tool. Uh, it doesn't need to be a scary thing. It doesn't need to be something that's you know, out in the ether somewhere that we don't understand. It does have a slight learning curve, but we can help you with that. And that's part of, uh, part of our job here. All right, so let's stop. They can't be triggered early. That's what I want you to remember, okay? So options give us 100% control over risk and reward. All right, you put on a stock trade. Let's say uh, you put on a stock trade overnight 
and all of a sudden the stock gaps down 30 points. That's real bad news if you're long, right? That is absolutely terrible news if you're long. All right, if you're in an option, you're not going to lose a lick of sleep over that, right? It's not going to hurt you. Um, it's it's going to give you a lot more control over your risk and reward than just a stock trade. Okay, August 2015 is perfect example of this. Uh, people had ETFs that they were trying to close out the morning of August, I believe it was August 24th, which was a Monday morning. It was after uh, some uh, big news out of China. Uh, there was no bid. There was, there was no one sitting there willing to buy an ETF that morning. And people got filled, you know, like just insane prices and got absolutely screwed um, on their on their on their fills. It was it was crazy. And with an option, you can't, you know, you can't do that. You can you can dial it in exactly right and it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna blow up on you. All right, stock trade can and does blow up on you at times. Okay, so you know, for you guys, are you typically risking one to make one? Are you risking one to make two? Are you risking three to make five? Are you risking 27 to make 94? That's the ratio. Um, so the reason I ask that is because everyone has their own little preference, right? Uh, most people sort of subscribe to the adage that you're risking one to make two, and that's the way to trade, right? You risk one to make two, and in reality, what happens is you buy a stock, it doesn't go your way, you hold on to it thinking it's going to come back, it doesn't come back, so you hold on to it a little longer, and all of a sudden you're risking 100 to eventually make three. All right, I've certainly had those trades that turned into an investment that eventually just turns into a tax write-off. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure we've had them, right? I've had them, you've had them, we've all had them, okay? Um, and we need to debunk the ratios here for a second. So I'm, I'm gonna take a, just a basic stock example here. So let's say we buy a stock at 30 bucks, all right? Whatever stock it is, buy a stock at 30 bucks. All right, we set our stop order at 29 bucks and we set our target at 32 bucks. This is the risk one to make two. This is the thing that is taught everywhere in trading, all right? But what they don't look at, what they don't teach you is the probability of actually hitting the two versus hitting the one, right? Taking the profit versus hitting the stop. So let's just assume here for a moment that you've got a 50% shot of heading up a point and you got a 50% shot of heading down a point. All right, so right here, we're assuming no directional edge and no predictability, which is really how you should you know, walk into the live market unless you're using a bunch of historical data, right? You gotta assume that we can go up or we can go down and we just don't know. All right, so if we assume that we are already, we're already stopped out half the time, right? You're already getting stopped out 50% of the time, okay? And then the question is, can you get two bucks before you draw down the dollar the other 50% of the time? And the answer is, you better hope so, otherwise you're gonna lose in the market, always, always, always. That is a losing, you know, that's a losing formula, okay? And, you know, the question is, how do we know, right? How do we know what that probability is? Okay, so Don just mentioned a, a very perfect example of the option market and why, you know, looking at it and knowing about it is important. It can give you a lot of information, which we're gonna look at in a minute, okay? And for me, we don't know that forward probability of that $2 move being hit, okay? We actually can look at the options chain, which we're gonna look at in a minute. It's gonna tell us what the probability is. But what I do know is what the historical probability is. I know exactly what happened the last 85 times that stock did that. That's why I can look at the market and with conviction place a trade, knowing that my expectancy is positive and that my system is gonna work, okay? So back to that stock trade, we got a 50% shot of heading up, 50% shot of heading down. And the question was, can you get the two bucks before you draw down the hundred or before you draw down the $1 and get stopped out of the trade? Okay, and the cool thing is, and I'm gonna invite Don back in here to cover this because he does a better job than I do. Uh, we can actually use the options market to determine our odds of hitting the $2 mark versus hitting the $1 mark. All right, so let's take a look. And this is a crazy confusing slide. So everyone hang with me here for just a second. <laughs> this, this is my baby. Don't don't make fun of my baby. Um, so yeah, part of my baby, and I'll have you actually point a couple of things out. So if you look into mm -hmm. Twitter, and Matt's actually gonna just uh, kind of drag his mouse over where Twitter is. Twitter basically, I took the screenshot a little while ago. It was trading back at 30 bucks, all right? So if he's circling around 30 bucks, Twitter's trading basically at right around $30. Okay, what you're looking at down below is an option chain. All right, beware, it's an option chain. All I wanted you to see, if Twitter's trading at $30, okay, what's the chance of Twitter going to $29 in the next, we'll say, 
23 days. And I picked out a really like esoteric period of time. And the reason I did that is I just wanted to show you like options are good for periods of time, yada, 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 push all that aside for a second. The cool thing is on this slide, on the far right hand side, okay, there's a probability and the probability is called probability of touching. And probability of touching simply says, what's the probability any time in the next 23 days of touching 29. So it can actually tell you, all right, if you were to do this, you know, thousands and thousands of times, it'll actually tell you, hey, it's about a 71% chance of that occurring. So how does that grab you? Like if you were to put a stop order on this particular trade, people always fight this. They go, but I have a MACD and I have a Bollinger Band and my Fibonacci told me it was going up. And I go, I don't care if you put a stop at 29, you got a 71% chance of getting stopped out. And then they go, but, 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 what, what? The stock is going to go to 32. Matt, show them the probability of getting to 32. Got about a 44% chance. I just have to ask that question. How's that, how's that grab you? Hmm? If you have a 71% chance of getting stopped out, does it really matter what that upside target is? Okay. It doesn't give you exactly a warm and fuzzy feeling. That's why you're going to use options to control risk because using stop orders Okay, it becomes like this. It's, it's like this rudimentary tool. You're like, you probably never heard of probability of touching before, but I'm emphatic about it because that's an area that we can immediately improve your results. Go ahead, Matt. Okay, thanks, Don. Yeah, I like to let Don handle that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so risk versus reward. Right, as Don just said, you got a 71% chance of getting stopped out, and you got a 44% chance of hitting your target. Okay, and just to be clear. The options market does not, does not reveal probabilities of hitting one before the other, just hits the raw probability of hitting that level. All right, so, you know, Don alluded to this already, but now that you know you've got a 71% chance of getting stopped, how does it make you feel, right? You know, you probably went in thinking you've got a little better than a 50% shot or you've got some indicators, you've got something that's going to tell you which way it's going to go. But ultimately, you've got a 71% chance of getting knocked out of that trade, which is not great. I don't like to trade that way. You know, most people don't like to trade that way. All right, so the question becomes, how do you minimize that risk while at the same time maximizing your returns? In other words, how do you risk a little bit and make a lot of it while working within the constraints of the probabilities that you have? Okay, and that's not an easy question to answer, right? How do you take a little risk and a lot of gain while working within those probabilities that we just looked at, okay? And again, I don't like to say it because it sounds it sounds like I'm just another one of those guys, but I showed you the account earlier, I showed you the proof, so I'm gonna teach you a trading strategy that overcomes the high probability of being stopped out, defines your risk, provides a considerable payout on that risk, right? That's risk a little to make a lot, uses a tiny bit of your buying power. We don't have to put a lot of capital into this thing. You saw the account I was working with, it's not a large account and you don't ever have to buy or sell the stock, right? We're going back to the options again. You're not actually working with the stock, you're working with the options, okay? So you don't have to buy or sell the stock. That's what allows you to use such a small fraction of your buying power. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in the black book spread. <laughs> now I should, I should help the options traders that happen to be watching this that are currently furiously Googling what a black book spread is, All right? So let me help you, you can't find it. Right, there is, there's no black book spread on Google. You're not gonna find it out there. All right, what the black book is, it's a directory of, uh, directory of people really all over the world that uh, Nevada has, or Nevada as they call it over there, who are banned from entering casinos. They cannot enter a casino. All right, some of these people were cheaters. Some of these people were uh, slots cheaters. Some are card cheaters. And uh, some of them are just really bad people. They don't want in a casino. Uh, so there was a guy, for example, his name was Bujar Kaloshi, a hell of a name, who used, uh, he actually used invisible ink and he marked the cards at the blackjack table. So he would use invisible ink to mark the card and then he had special glasses to read that ink. All right, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, it's cheating, right? It's, it's cheating, but it's, it's very clever kind of use of cheating. You have to admire how clever it is at least. And of course, this guy eventually got caught, he got thrown out, he got arrested. And then... Uh, <laughs> Uh, he was actually caught in another state doing the same, same thing, but uh, he was actually trying to just raise bail money for the other arrest, which I uh, just thought was amusing. So anyway, so the reason we called it the black book spread was because it just feels like you're cheating. 
right? You have the probabilities, they're looking you in the face, but then we can put on a trade that has different probabilities that has a wonderful risk reward payout. So if we have that much data to work with, just like one of our card counting friends here, we can use that data to make a decision and build a strategy that totally stacks the odds in our favor and um, you know start building up our chip stack at the house's expense for a change. Okay, so this spread, this black book spread, will limit your risk to pennies and allow for reward in the dollars. That again is the risk a little, make a lot. All right, you can tweak it to whatever your risk reward probability tolerance looks like. If you wanna take trades that risk 10 cents to make three bucks but don't pay off very often, that's fine. If you wanna take a trade that costs three bucks to make one buck that pays out you know, pretty much all the time, that's also okay. All right, it is an options trade, but I don't want you to be afraid of that. Okay, the uh, the results and the returns should help you kind of overcome that fear. It's something that is worth learning. All right? And people always ask, well, what kind of spread is it, right? What is it? Um, you know, again, people are gonna be scrambling to look it up. And really what it is, it's just the most efficient way to capture whatever the inefficiency is that exists between what already happened and what's projected to happen. Okay, and it can be any of these things. It can be a vertical spread, it can be a butterfly spread, it can be an iron condor and iron butterfly and all these weird terms. Option traders are a weird bunch. We make up weird names for everything. Uh, it could be just a long option, it could be a broken wing trade, all kinds of stuff it could be. And we're just gonna pick whatever the most efficient trade is to grab whatever the, um, whatever the inefficiency is in the market. Okay, so that's what a black book spread is. It's just, it's one trade, that might be 10 different strategies, right? It's, it's one strategy of a mix of a variety of strategies. We're just gonna pick the most efficient one. Okay, by the way, anybody that tells you you can do the same trade in every market environment is wrong. I'm not saying they're lying, I'm saying they're wrong. Right? There's a lot of people that believe you can do that, you can't. Okay? You gotta modify your strategy based on the environment you're in. Okay, so let me give you an example. Uh, McDonald's, MCD. All right, this was a live trade we placed. It's a perfect example of how this works, okay? I'm gonna throw it over to the trading platform for just a second. So we put on a trade in McDonald's. And this was a trade that I loved. All right, so we put on the trade right here and we had about two bucks in risk, right? It's 198.50, give or take. All right, if you put on a stock trade, you would have gotten stopped out right here on this candle, it's daily candles, okay? Since we took the option trade, we didn't get stopped out. We held on to it and it ran up to 209. This is when we took the trade off. So we made you know, about uh, nine points in the trade instead of losing two points in the trade. It's a great example of how options can help you in this case, okay? Uh, let's see, let me go find my spot in the slides here. I lost it, there it is. I'm much less proficient in PowerPoint than I am in trading. <laughs> All right, so because of our option, we stayed in the trade and closed it out for 865 instead of losing the dollar 69 that we would have had. Okay. And, um, you know, this we can actually take and look at all kinds of stuff. I showed it to you in the tool here. Um, we, you know, with that McDonald's trade, we looked at this, we saw what's the most efficient place, you know, what's the most efficient trade we can actually put on. And it, it told us, told us exactly what to put on. All right. Second example of these black book spreads this is a Bollinger Band. Um, we're running a little low on time, so I'm not going to show you the tool. This is a different tool. All right, so we looked at uh, one of our edge scraper tools earlier. I call it the edge scraper because it just scrapes around for edge. This is a different edge scraper tool. It looks at Bollinger Bands instead of moving averages. All right, so that one gives us a trade, Microsoft this time, and tells us all the stats for winners and losers, average length in trade, expectancy, average winner, average loser. So there's all kinds of stats we can tell us, and what we get is, Hey, if we took that trade, what we need to do, we get the winners that are 4%, it takes 10 days, but we're likely to take two bucks worth of adverse movement to get there. So again, we can put on an option to kind of help mitigate that. Okay, woo. All right, so this is why you need to be using these things. Uh, hopefully I've already showed you that um, you, know, you, can, you can produce a tremendous return with uh, a very small amount of risk. And uh, you know, again, it gives time for the trade to work. You've got defined risk and reward, and you already know your probabilities, tiny capital requirement, and then when you combine this with some directional edge, uh, it has explosive growth potential, right? And I've, I've already showed you, I used it to grow an account. I gotta change this to 110% after today. It's a nice day in the account today. Okay, so they allow you also to trade enormous products with tiny risk. Uh, fun fact, I took this screenshot, I, it was like a week ago, right? And this was, this, was, uh, this was where it was trading, 500. Now we're up to 900, 
All right, but we were trading Tesla, a huge, huge product for 55 cents. That was our risk on the trade. It was a 55 cent risk trade. Okay, so you don't have to put up a ton of capital, just a little bit. Okay, and I, I want to go through some live trades for a minute. Okay, this is the uh, this is the Thinkorswim platform. It's just screenshots of the um, of the trades. All right, so if we go into the account statement, if I go back and look at American Airlines, we could find this trade in there somewhere. I may have to go back, I don't know, a little bit further here. It may take a second. There we go. So we put the trade on for 57 cents, right? 57 cents at risk times 100 shares if you're not familiar with options. So that's a $57 trade. Uh, no, you know what? I'm sorry. That was this trade. Hey, there we go. 49 cent trade on the wrong trade. So we had $49 at risk, put it on the 23rd, just before um, Christmas time. And we took it off January 3rd. That's the exit there for $1.06. So for every 49 bucks we put in the trade, we got back 106. All right, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Here's another one. This was on 3M. So we opened this one for a credit, actually, a $3.64 credit. That was our risk amount. Closed it for $2.44 debit. So we're actually doing the trade in reverse in this case. You could think of it as putting the trade on for $2.44, taking it off for 364. All right, it's a gain of 89% in two weeks. Okay, here's a Netflix trade. We opened it for nine cents at risk. How would you like to trade Netflix with nine cents at risk? All right, <laughs> and we made a gain of 15 cents. Now, I realize that's not a lot, but you know, you do the math on that, it's 167% in a week. And you could have traded 100 of those. You could have probably traded 1,000 of those if you want and put 9,000 bucks at risk and walked away with 15 grand in a week, okay? Uh, here's the, uh, I'm sorry, here's the Gilead trade. Um, opened for 65 cent debits, so 65 bucks at risk, closed it for $91, right? 40%. This one took a little longer at two weeks. But come on, I mean, who's going to complain about 40% in two weeks? That's 80% a month. That's like 8,000% a year, uh, 800%. I put one too many zeros on there. All right, here's the McDonald's trade we just looked at. All right, so what if you've done two contracts of this? You would have had 300 bucks at risk and walked away with 16, I'm sorry, even 1,700 bucks on $340 in risk, okay? Took 23 days, big whoop. All right, what if you did 10 contracts? Let's do the math here, 10 contracts. So 10 times, well, that's a that's a very first gradery zero there. Uh, so 10 times a buck 69, so you put 1,700 bucks at risk. What do you get back? A ton of money, $8,000. Right, that's a tremendous, huge payout. And you could do as many contracts as you want. You know, I, I did this in a small account. You could do it in a big account if you want. You could trade 40 contracts, right? 40 contracts times 16, 90. Ooh, that's about six grand or so, call it, full round. And you walk away with 32,000 bucks, right? It's not, uh, it's not limited to a small account is my point, right? What would 32 grand mean to you if you could put 6,000 bucks at risk? Like, what's that gonna do for your trading confidence? And forget that, like, what are you gonna do with 32,000 bucks? That's a lot of money, okay? Without a ton of risk on the table. Okay, here's another trade. This one was uh, Splunk, my favorite, my favorite stock name. Opened it for a buck 10, closed it for a buck 57. That was 43%. That one just took two days, right? We opened it here on the 16th, closed it on the 18th. Okay, here's another one, Delta Airlines. We opened it on the 30th, closed it on the 5th six days for 103 percent i mean and these are all live trades this is not you know these are not just examples that i'm cherry picking these are all things we did in front of thousands of clients okay uh, general mills opened for 49 cents closed it for 70 cents right, that's 43 percent pfizer 53 bucks at risk we closed it for 98 all right it's 85 percent could just go on and on and on all right square open for a buck 37 closed for 397 Okay, and people always ask, like, what about your losers? Of course there's losers, right? I'm showing you the winners because those are exciting. There's losers in there, okay? But what I want you to remember is that we took the account up 110% in four months, okay? Yes, there's gonna be losers. They're not all gonna win, okay? That's where allocation comes into play. That's where balancing the portfolio comes into play. There's other things in play here, but these trades have explosive potential, okay? And those are live trades, and not funny money. <laughs> I like, I like this guy. Uh, they're not funny money, okay? They, they were executed live in front of thousands of people. No paper trades. And uh, the other thing worth pointing out is that there's no urgency on these trades, okay? They're, they're relatively short-dated. You can get into them. Um, 
you know, without having to be sitting by the computer, it's not like a one minute entry window. Okay, you can enter and exit these things without even being at the computer. So set it and forget it order types. Okay, it takes about five minutes to place them. All right, you can place them at midnight if you want. You can place them at two in the morning if you want. If you're up at three, go to work by five, place them at 3 a.m., it's totally fine. Okay, if you don't like doing the math stuff, that's no problem either. This is the Enigma machine. All right, this is the machine that the Germans used to encode and decode their messages. Uh, now, I'm not, so, uh, I'm not so audacious to claim that my spreadsheet is the Enigma machine or has the cultural impact of the Enigma machine, but it's still a really cool tool that does all the math stuff for you. All right, I call it the edge scraper because it looks at all the market stuff and just scrapes out that edge for you, finds it for you, does all the hard work for you, and spits out the number. Three. Okay, it'll even pick a spread for you if you want. Okay, so just to review our characteristics, the risk reward probabilities can stack massively in your favor. You've seen that from the trades I just showed you. Tiny capital requirements. You just saw we were trading Netflix with nine cents. Okay, defined reward, defined risk. All right, that's a great huge thing for you. When you're trading stock, you basically have you know unlimited reward if the stock goes to a bazillion, but you also have a ton of risk on the table. Okay, so you can dial in exactly what risk reward you want. You can use good to cancel order types. I'd let you trade at midnight if you want. Uh, time frame on this is your choice. If you want to trade super, super quick, you want to trade you know, one hour trades, if you are kind of a day trader, you can use this tool in this system to do that. Okay, you want to do 60, 60 day swing trades, that's cool too. You want to take a one year trade, fine. Right, you can dial that in however you want. Okay, that's up, that's up to you. And uh, probability of profit is also adjustable. If you want to take trades that are high probability, great. You want to take trades that are low probability that pay out nicely, that's fine. Okay, and the last thing is that you can use this to hedge your stock portfolio. Okay, if you're super long the market because you have a retirement account, you can't do anything but be long the market, you know, first of all, congratulations, it's been a kind market to you. Okay, but you can use these trades to take bearish trades against your bullish positions and kind of get a little balanced, right? You probably make money on the bearish side and the bullish side. How fun would that be? Okay, and last but not least here, it's just a powerful, easy to use, dummy proof tool for growing that smaller account quickly or a larger account. It doesn't have to be a smaller account. You know, I know we've, we've titled the webinar here, uh, how to consistently grow a small account, but you can absolutely do massive size in these things. Okay, you can do huge size. Okay, if you wanna build it, it doesn't, doesn't have to be scary. You control everything. Okay, this is an Amazon trade. You know how big Amazon is? It's enormous. You put this trade on for two bucks. We're risking two bucks. Okay, um, if you do these things, <laughs> I, like to, I like to compare them to the one ring. Uh, we already established that I'm a geek. I like Lord of the Rings. This is the one ring. Okay, if you use these trades correctly, they can bring peace and prosperity to the whole world for your trading account. And if you, if, you know, if you use them incorrectly though, you're gonna destroy your trading account. You're gonna destroy mankind. Don't be a Sauron. All right, so you can totally do these things. All right, it's, it's my job as an educator and a trader to help you understand that you can absolutely do this. If you don't know options, that's fine. We can absolutely help you, okay? I can show you when and how to place them. It'll only take me a few hours, right? I can distill that learning curve down to a few hours and um, you know the rest of our instructors over at Theo can do the same thing. Don's fantastic at it. You know I came from an education background, 15 years. I can help break this stuff down in a way that makes perfect sense. Okay, and what Theo Trade does creates detailed recipes for every strategy. Okay, and you wouldn't try to bake a cake without a recipe, and you wouldn't try to fly a plane without instruments. So you know what are you doing trading without that stuff? Okay, just a few more examples for you. This is uh, I believe it's uh, yeah NOW now. Service now maybe open for uh, three dollars and eighty cents, closed for nine oh five. It's a huge gain, one hundred thirty three percent. Yeah, you know one of the things. You go back to that for a second because I just want to show them on, on this one, Matt. Sure. Like just over the time of the trade. So the time frames of the trade obviously they vary a little bit. And you see, Matt put this on uh, what December tenth. By the way, this is this is screenshots. If you guys have never seen it, it's directly from Thinkorswim. He's just taking it from. Think or swim, which is TD Ameritrade, and he, you know, we just took a screenshot of it, and he's actually showing the exact trade. But the times, everything is is divulged in here, and I mean that's that's a huge trade. And 380 into like 905, you know, 380 bucks, 900 dollars, or 3,800 into 9,000. I just wanted to emphasize like the screenshot, and that one, of course, you know, Matt uh, Matt traded live. Go ahead, sorry about that, Matt. Yeah, that's okay. And, and you know, to Don's point, they're not all going to look the same. If you're an options trader, 
you know, you've seen some two-legged stuff. You've seen some three-legged stuff. I might do some four-legged stuff and some one-legged stuff. I'm building all kinds of stools over here. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty quick turnaround sometimes, and sometimes it takes a month. Uh, for buy trading, I, I like to do things, you know, somewhere between 10 days and a month. That's my, that's my wheelhouse, you know. But again, you can trade a year out, you can trade two days out, you can trade six months out. Right? Whatever you like to trade, you can modify the system to work, okay? Uh, this was win, open for a couple bucks here, closed for $4, and as Don mentioned, I think uh, it was almost the same, same time frame. So this one was December 10th. Uh, the win trade was December 13th, took them off the same day. Okay, and uh, I think last one here, UPS, this time we opened it for a $3.07 credit. You can see this is the old infamous iron condor. I don't do that many of these, but occasionally they are appropriate. And uh, we closed it for $1.98 debit, so that was 57%. Okay, so th these are the things you need to look at if you're going to successfully enter and exit these things. Okay, anybody can look up a vertical, anybody can look up an iron condor, but there's a lot of really specific things that, um, you know, that make one of these trades viable. All right, one thing is that there are 4,862 optionable stocks out there. You want to trade options? You got 4,862 choices. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, about 200 of those are tradable, meaning there is some liquidity in there. And then about 50 of those are actually the preferred candidates. All right, the reason I use those 50 is because you can hit those 50 candidates with thousands of contracts if you want without moving the needle, all right? But those uh, those 50, that's about 1% of the universe of optionable stocks. You need to know what you're trading. You need to know what you can trade and what you can't trade. Okay, volatility. Uh, anybody seen some volatility lately? How about a 60 point up day and an 80 point down day, all right? There's a lot of volatility in the last, in the last week or so. And, um, you know, if volatility is high, you got to trade this thing a little differently. If volatility is low, you got to do something else. If volatility is in the middle, you got to do something else. Uh, I mentioned it before, but you can't do the same thing in different market environments. It's not going to work. Okay. Uh, what options expiration do I select? You know, what should be the delta of the option I buy? What options do I sell? You know, all these questions are things that you have to answer. And then ultimately, how do we build the trade? How do we put this thing together? You know, what do I do? with my order ticket, right? If you've never traded options before, you're gonna look at the order ticket and be like, what do I do, right? We can show you how to do that. We can show you exactly how to build the trade, okay? And probably the most important question that no one asks is what's the right amount of risk? You know, how much do I risk on each trade? How much do I risk for my whole account? You know, what portion of my small or large or medium size account is this appropriate for? Okay, and that's a question you absolutely should ask first. Okay, so let me show you exactly what we do at TheoTrade. Yeah, you know what? So I'm gonna chime in a little bit, Matt, on this uh, sure. on this particular front. You know, I uh, I can't I can't stress enough. It, I mean, it's just variables. I mean, that's what trading really comes down to. It's variables. And when we talk about, you know, so we show you a strategy here and yada yada yada. And as we kind of say, you know. Anybody can figure out what an iron condor is. You can you can look and you can find out what a vertical spread is. Okay, what you can't get, okay, is the recipe behind it. And the recipe behind it is, you know, what if the stock goes up? What if the stock goes down? You know, what I mean, effectively, it's your checklist. It's how do you know when to enter, when to enter, you know, when to exit. Uh, all the different variables in there. Stock goes up, stock goes down. And I can't, again, I can't stress that enough, especially. When of course it comes to to options trades, I mean, what you guys have found out sooner or later, those of you that have been in this business before, or those of you that have attempted trades, you're gonna find out trading. It's it's all about it's answering what ifs. When we say what ifs, what might be a good stock or ETF candidate for a black book spread? What's the correct options expiration cycle? Have you ever looked at option expiration cycle? There's weeklies, there's monthlies. I mean, there's there's actually multiple weeklies now like if you look at the uh if the s p there's a monday expiration or a wednesday and a friday you know you're going to look at that and go there's a lot of options on them there are options and there are okay how much capital do you commit to the black book spreads what strike price options do i buy and, and which ones do i sell and how many and growing a small account what should my allocation be i mean these are some of the variables that matt was hitting upon but when people ask you know what do we do here well, we answer those questions we build recipes all of those recipes are, it's definitive criteria, it's checklist. It's a pre-flight checklist. You hop in an aircraft, 
You don't just, you know, boom, hop in the aircraft. Let's let's take off. Come on, baby. Let's go. You know, there's a flight plan. You go through and like, all right, check one, check two. I mean, for those of you that have ever flown around a little bit, you'll actually see the pilot. It could be freezing cold. You're leaving Chicago. It's freezing cold. They're, you know, haven't even de-iced the plane. The pilot gets out and he actually walks around the aircraft itself. It's all part of the pre-flight checklist. Trading is is no different. But then when you're in the trade, okay, you're going to enter unique variables. If the stock goes up and all of a sudden dividends coming in, what am I going to do? Okay, that's what we do here at Theotrade. We answer those questions by building these checklists. It's literally like maps to take you through the answers to all of your questions. I mean, that's what we do. We answer your questions. What's the right probability for the trade? How many option contracts for the account size? When do I close it? If the stock sells off big. What's the correct return for the strategy? What if the stock rallies massively? I love this one. Can I fix a losing trade? Uh, I'm nervous. You know, I have too much out. You know, it's listen, it's the how, it's the when, it's the why, it's at what price. It's just the beginning, though, of the variables that you're going to hit upon. You know, a moment ago, I was talking about like dividends and so forth. Okay. There are variables. You know, somebody was asking about like text messages. Can you, can you text me? You know, of course. Okay. Why not? Okay. But that's just the beginning is the variables when you're going to enter one of these black book spreads. I mean, that's, this, again, there's a lot of variables in there. And it was a saying a moment ago. I think a lot of people, they, they, they look at this business, they go, ah, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to Google what a, what a spread happens to be. And I said, you can Google what an iron condor is and you can Google, you know, different option spreads. Maybe some of you might even know right now, you know how to build a spread. Okay. That's not going to get you there, which you're not going to find, which you're not going to be able to Google. Okay. What people come here to Theo trade for are the recipes. Okay. What you're getting in black book spreads, it's myself, it's Don Kaufman and Matt Williamson. The experience behind it matters. Combined, we have 35 years of experience in trading. I personally have had access to client order flow, okay, for 15 years. I saw what everybody else did. You know, I've viewed and studied millions of trading accounts. I ran education for 15 years at a firm with the largest option order flow. Okay. We know what works and what does not work. Okay. So not only do we build criteria based on a lot of other people's money and a lot of other people's mistakes, we also build criteria, okay, on a foundation of what worked for us and what worked, okay, for a general population, okay, and a huge population, all right, of account holders at TD Ameritrade. Again, when I worked at TD Ameritrade, we had 7 million accounts and we've studied them upwards, downwards, sideways, and forwards to figure out and zero in. Listen, it's pretty easy to do when you have big data, right? You can zero in on who's making money and who's not. Okay. Of course we did so and found out what strategies and so forth. And that's what a lot of the criteria here at Theotrade is based on. Okay. Criteria is the recipe for success. Okay. You know, the following strategy, the black book strategy and the corresponding criteria, it requires the utmost attention to detail. And this strategy specifically literally spent years fine tuning this trade setup and the criteria. Okay. And when you approach the section on criteria, you literally just follow steps to be able to build okay, your own unique trade. That's what growing a small account with black book spreads that's what this course is about. Matt, okay, and myself have a course coming up. Okay, this is a four hour course. It is live, okay, February 6th. That's this Thursday. And we're actually going to host, okay, this live class during the trading session. It's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Time. Now, the class itself is going to be archived. And I'm telling people that right now because they immediately go, ah, I'm not free. I'm not free on Thursday. That's fine. We archive everything instantaneously. But more importantly and more appropriately, the slide deck and the slide deck that includes checklists, the entry and exit criteria is available the morning of February 6th. So we distribute that okay, to everybody that is going through the course, whether you go to the course or like, you know, on that particular time, it's okay. You can watch it, you know, archived over there and you can ask questions on email, but the course is archived immediately with 27 for access to that course. And the course itself is also available. You can download it on iOS, which is Apple or Android. 
So if uh, we have our own mobile application, it's Theotrade Mobile, you can download it, replay it anytime. You can even replay it at three times the speed. Okay. And this is a, a really critical portion of the class as well. We're actually going to give you access to Matt's Edge Scraper tools, which is the tool that he's showing you throughout the course okay, of tonight, where he's literally like, just input this, and it's actually going to tell you based on historical okay, data, right, the approximate edge within a given strategy. The course, it's $497, okay? And again, it's live. This is not a recorded class. We're going to host the class live. Uh, I am going to be involved in doing a portion of the class along with Matt. This is something that, listen, Matt worked a tremendous amount on the course. But as I said, we all have like our genres of trading and there's an area, okay, of expertise that I have, an area of expertise that Matt has. We're going to go at it a little bit together. Again, the course is $497, okay? We do, okay, have an additional bonus for you, though, this evening. So hang with me here for just a moment. I also want to take you through these uh, are the key points and the key takeaways from this class. It's the course curriculum for the small account black book spreads. First of all, you're going to learn to construct black book spreads. Easy to learn, easy to place, okay? The second point over here, we're going to actually teach you to mine for edge. So Matt specifically is going to talk about edge, how to get it, where to find it, so you know, like, all right, I'm going to go out, I'm going to look at this particular strategy. Point three, strategy selection. You know, do I use an iron condor? Do I use an in-out spread? He's going to show you exactly how and why to select the right strategy, allocation models, which is critical. Depending upon account size, listen, you don't trade a $2,000 account like you trade a $2 million account, okay? The seesaw, how to keep the portfolio balanced. So you don't see huge ups, huge downs. I don't know if anybody's ever been through that before, but I think that's actually a pretty important point to be made over here. Um, I've seen counts that like, especially a day like today, day like today, the S&Ps are, ah, oh, we're up huge, okay? Two days ago, like, oh, I'm gonna be sick, All right? You gotta balance this out. Number six, how to never lose sleep over your positions again. We're going to define your risk. Seven, how to successfully navigate a variety of different market environments. You know, Matt made a great point earlier. He said, you know, not, not one strategy is going to fit all. And when people tell you that, I mean, <laughs> either they don't understand the business or they're just purely like, you know, they're not necessarily being truthful of it. You have to have a couple of tricks in that bag. And you have to understand that, you know, successfully navigating volatility is different than, you know, market environment that's like, you know, straight up like it was a couple of weeks ago. You're also going to learn how to build your own black book spreads using the custom edge scraper tool. Black book spreads, again, easily entered. More importantly, the reason I'm actually mentioning this, you could use what we call set and forget orders, which is good till canceled orders. If you guys are unfamiliar with uh, with good till canceled orders, and you'll see this sometimes on trading applications. Okay, on trading applications, it's called GTC orders. We actually teach you how to use GTC. So if you're not sitting in front of the computer all day, you're fine. And don't panic. Like you don't have to be in front of the computer. I know the class. It's this Thursday, and people are immediately like, I I I work for a living. I get... That's why we record everything. You're like, but 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 I can't possibly. That's why we use GTC orders. But but I don't have a lot of capital. You can do this with a minimum of $2,000 in the account, and you can do it in IRA accounts. We don't care retirement accounts. I trade in my retirement account. Minimal options experience, fine, done, no problem. You can have zero options experience. You're going to be fine in this because we ramp you up, okay? But the key point, again, to be made, right? One of the key takeaways over here, you got to follow the recipe, all right? That's what we're doing over here is we're building recipes. You follow the recipe, you're going to be just fine. Now, okay, as I said a moment ago, we'll give you a little bit of a bonus tonight. You're here, all right? Theotrade, and, and again, another important point to be made about Theotrade, right? We ran part of a brokerage firm, right? Before we actually built Theotrade, we ran part of a brokerage firm. And we watched umpteen different different companies come in business, out of business, and, and all these education companies come in there and they, they say, well, you gotta buy this class and buy this class. And listen, we had had enough of that, okay? We left the brokerage world. We left the brokerage world to get away from all the regulation. But at the same time that we did that, we also left the brokerage world to start an education company that wasn't throwing crap at people nonstop. You got to buy this. You got to buy an indicator. You got to listen. We get it. You, you want everything. You want everything to be able to trade. You want everything to be able to invest. 
you want it at one place and you want it at one price. And you don't want to be like, you know, you don't want to screw around with, I have to buy another indicator. I got to buy the, you know, the, the edge scraper tool. Can't stand that. And it's important to me that you guys understand this. The first bonus we give you tonight, we give you access to 88, again, 88 trading courses. And you're like, whoa, what am I, what am I going to do with, with 88 different uh, trading courses? I'm going to watch them, okay? You can watch them at your leisure, people, at your leisure. You can watch classes, okay? When we talk about some different classes over here, well, we're going to cover that. First of all, we're going to give you access to the Growing a Small Account with Black Book Spreads class. That's live coming up February 6th. In addition to it, we give you 88 other classes, okay? They're all available immediately. They're on demand. These are classes that we've actually done. Okay. Now we launched this thing in 2016. And since 2016, we have 88 trading classes. You're like, that's impossible. Okay. No, it's not. I'm going to show you why here momentarily. Okay. Here, how to collect income being short. This next one is huge. Okay. The next big shorts, the risk twist spread. That's for people that are looking for a huge shot to the downside. Guide selling high probability spreads. Iron up, that's iron condor. Selling premium, minimize your risk. Survive and thrive at extreme volatility. Day trading NASDAQ futures. This is a day trading class. That's okay. Covered calls. Maybe you're not into day trading. Maybe you're into covered calls. That's much more of an investor's, okay? Essential skills for consistency in trading. That's for everybody. The top 10 skills for going a small account. Pairs trading. People, I'm just scraping the surface. I'm just trying to show you. We give you access to what? Everything. Why everything? Okay? Because we can. If you look at the cost of these classes, and we charge $497 for this class and $497 for this class, it's access to for $9,000 in classes alone. Okay? And the classes, you're not going to be disappointed. And the class that Matt's going to do, okay, along with me on Thursday, $497, we can charge thousands for this class. Okay? It's going to be phenomenal. But we don't just give you that and, and let you, you know, we don't just give you one class and send you on your way. We gave you everything, every class that we've ever done here. By the way, as I was saying a moment ago, the classes that are on this list over here, I've done a bunch of them. Matt's in a few of them. But here's our instructors. Theotrade. Remember this. Everybody here at Theotrade has a minimum of 15 years of what? Okay. Trading experience. Not working in the industry. Not just brokerage firm trading experience. Okay. Uh, again, my name is Don Kaufman. I'm the lead strategist, the co-founder here, and I started trading in the late 90s. I come from a family, though, of market makers. And that's how I got involved in the business. I was involved in the startup of Thinkorswim. We took the company public in 2007. I was there for the acquisition of TD Ameritrade. I ran education for 7 million clients. Okay, We have Matt. He's our market neutral option premium selling strategist, Jeff Bierman. Jeff worked with me directly at uh, TD Ameritrade. In fact, Jeff worked in my group. If you've ever been on the Thinkorswim trading application, Jeff's directly responsible for like half of all the different technical analysis studies on Thinkorswim. Okay, he was the chief market technician for TD Ameritrade. It's a pretty highly coveted position. Okay, Jeff, by the way, is also a professor of finance at Loyola. When he exited TD Ameritrade, he goes, "Yeah, he goes, I really want to teach and not be encumbered by the SEC." So he went to work for a uh, for a school. You know what we did? We immediately said, <laughs> "Jeff Bierman." Okay, he works for Loyola. You want to see him at Loyola? $42,000 a year to go see Jeff at Loyola. Or you can see even more of what he does here at, uh, at Theotrade. Next on the list, Corey Rosenblum, senior strategist and a resident swing trader. Corey's been around, okay, and I've known Corey for almost 20 years. Brandon Chapman, CMT, macroeconomics. Brandon is also, okay, uh, comes out of uh, the TD Ameritrade world. In fact, Brandon also worked in a group in the education side of things. He actually wrote, uh, many of the courses in the education side of TD Ameritrade, one of the courses that Brandon wrote, people used to pay $24,000 for an 18-month long course. Okay? Some of you possibly have done this course before. right? Brandon wrote most of the book for that particular course. Next on the list, Steve. That's Slim Miller. Slim's have been around since options have been around. 43-year trading career. He's traded stocks, options, and futures. Last but definitely not least, Tony Rago. He's our intraday in our NASDAQ futures. These, okay, these are the instructors that put together these courses. But I'm not done. In terms of the bonuses, as I said, you want everything. And you guys, we've seen this before. Like people go and they, I took a class here and then I had to buy, you know, a secret squirrel Fibonacci indicator. We can't stand that stuff, okay? I had to, I had to do this, I had to do that. Listen, the second bonus we will give you an all access 
Theo Trade VIP membership pass for free. What is it? It's three months. Three months of what? Everything. Unlimited access to Theo Stream. It includes a live trading chat room. And I just want to go through this. We have a live chat room. Now, the chat room broadcasts for approximately six hours a day. Remember, the market's open about six and a half hours a day. We broadcast for about six hours a day. Most days, actually, we do broadcast for six and a half hours, but I put it at six hours a day because on our uh, on a day like on a local Wednesday, it's, it's six hours. But then we do another chat at night, okay, six hours a day. Next, our traders here at TheoTrade, we provide real-time trade ideas, real-time market insights. When we're broadcasting, we're trading, okay? Everybody who's always asked this question, can you send me a trade? Okay, by the way, this email trade ideas, eh, we don't email anymore, okay? So you know what, email, it's just too slow. I have a Hotmail account, what's the problem? So yes, we do text, okay? We also use what's called push notification. So we have a, a mobile application. We prefer you use push and text. That's what we do now. We will send out, including black book spreads, we will send it out both on push and text notifications. We also have five distinct trading portfolios. We have like an in-out spread portfolio. We have a duration portfolio. I mean, we have a, like a risk twist. It just goes on and on and on. Okay, we have uh, daily coaching sessions. This is continued education, timely topics and stocks, options and futures. And okay, this one kind of, I think, ices the cake. We will answer your questions. So people, you'll pay $1,000 okay, to somebody for like a month of coaching. Easily. I mean, here, we just give it to you. That's why we have seven full-time instructors. We answer emails. Okay, why do we answer emails? You can ask us direct trading questions by email. We'll answer you in 24 hours. Okay, and I'm just telling you right now, we get tons of emails. We're fine with it. Okay, good. Go for it. You say, is this, did I put this trade together right? And I go, no, that's the worst trade I've ever seen. I hope you actually take that feedback and run with it. Okay, if you want to you know, be successful in this business, be open to a little bit of like, you know, opinion about your trade. You're like, no, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's hideous. But we're going to give you access. It's like $997 support, trade ideas, and insight. And it's phenomenal. That's the second bonus. In addition to this, we also give you access to 59 proprietary indicators and scans. Now, we already talked about okay, Matt, and Matt's going to have the edge scraper tool. That's a portion of this course. But we're also going to give you access to another 59 proprietary indicators, auto expected move. There's gravity points, Theotrade, RSI, Laguerre. Okay, uh, Quantix, NQ levels, next generation squeeze, complex position tracker, IV rank versus percentile. We actually have a Theoquant setup, unusual put options activity, sizzle scans, SPX. It's just like the tip of the iceberg. There's so many proprietary indicators. We give them to you all. Why? Okay, because it's the right thing to do. If you want to actually trade with us on a day to day basis, and, you know, if you want to trade with us on a month to month basis, okay, you should have this stuff and we give it to you. It's access to over $1,800 in indicators and scans. This is all in addition okay, to the class that Matt and I are hosting this Thursday. I mean, TheoTrade, it includes everything that you need to invest and trade. We've got what? Classes, coaching, email access to the instructors, right? Email us when you want, how you want live trading room with live trade ideas, indicators and scans, mobile access. We actually push those trades out through text messages or push notifications. Everything you need to succeed. We've actually built what we term the Netflix for traders. And that's what I most closely associate with TheoTrade. You know, if you hop on Netflix, you look at Netflix, it's like they break it down by different genre. What kind of a movie? I want a comedy tonight. I want this. Well, here at TheoTrade, I want to do intraday trading. I want to be a swing trader. Okay. I want to be an options geek. I want to be a stock geek. I want to be a futures geek. We have all of those genres of trading and classes for each and every like you know, trader. And we have instructors for those genres of trader. All of this we're doing tonight, $297 for three months. And again, what that includes at $297. Okay. And I said, we're going to give you a little bit of a bonus. Well, that includes everything. It's for three months. We'll give you access to everything we do for three months. Growing a small account, okay, with the black book spreads. That's the course, okay? And that course is coming up, what, this Thursday. In addition, access to over 88 additional courses, all available immediately on demand. There's new monthly classes. Then we have what? 
Uh, by the way, yeah, we continued education. In the next three months, how many courses are we going to do? Well, we're going to do the course this Thursday. We're going to have another course, another course. You know, over the course of three months, you're probably going to get another what? Another, you know, three classes stacked on top of that. We have a live trading chat room. Okay. And that live trading chat room okay, has thousands of people in and out of it. You can actually talk to other clients, but we're actually broadcasting. I'm going to show you here in a minute. We broadcast trade ideas. We broadcast live for six hours a day. When we say we're broadcasting live, you don't want to see my ugly mug. You don't want to see my ugly mug. You want to see my screen. You want to see me trade. And that's exactly what we do. We do not broadcast my ugly mug Okay, or Matt's. Okay, I definitely don't want to see Matt. That's That'll push me right over the edge. You know, most of the time I'm on Pacific time. I see Matt 6.30 in the morning. That's it. I'm done. Okay. You want to see our screens. And that's what we give you access to. Uh, you actually watch every move that we make on the screen, every trade we execute. 59 proprietary indicators and scans. Okay. Text messages with five distinct trading portfolios. So we text out the trades, right? Daily coaching sessions and email support. And the email support, I put a huge amount of weight into the email support. If you go to this address right now, it's Theo Trade dot com okay that's a forward slash okay boy boy that's bb theotrade.com forward slash bb all right now before i go any further and again i talked about uh an indicator okay earlier tonight that we are going to provide you and i'm going to come to that here momentarily okay before i do that I want to make this very clear to everybody. It's $297 for three months. And one of the first questions that comes up is people immediately say, is that a membership? What happens after three months? What, what, what is this an introductory price? Okay, calm down. I'm going to get to that, but I'm going to tell you right up front. This is not a membership. Okay. It is not a membership. Um, after three months, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Okay. That's it. We'll send you emails and, Hey, you want to do this for another, you know, three months. How much is it? If you do it for another three months, it's $297. Okay. Um, that's it. Okay. And make it even easier for you. We'll make it a completely riskless trade tonight. Theo trade becomes riskless. It's everything you need to start trading from novice to expert. When I say novice to expert, I want to make something clear. This, this is Theo trade. Okay. This is Theo trade. It's part of the site. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth in a couple of moments, but I want to get to something. When we say novice to expert. We have this entire start here member uh, menu. The start here, you know what that means? I have no experience. Options 101. What is an option? Okay. Options 101, options 201. We set this up, okay, specifically for people that are novice to the extreme. I don't care how much experience you have. If you've never been involved in this business before, okay, we have taken people, okay, right out of high school, taken people right out of college and ramped them up. We've had people come here. Okay, from Wharton School of Finance and been shocked at the level of depth of education. Okay, we have a professor of finance from Loyola. It doesn't get better than the crew that we have here in terms of instructors at Theo Trade. And I'm telling you right now, these instructors, these are traders. Okay, I didn't hire people that can go out there and like, I can speak in front of a crowd. Most of them, okay, hide inside of their homes and broadcast from remote locations and you see the screen and they trade. But it was important that you see that start here menu because I think that's critical to understanding this. We're making it a riskless trade, okay? It's a money back guarantee. Trade with us over the next three months, okay? If you're not satisfied, just email us, support at theotrade.com. Provide us the details of your trades receive a full refund. Now we're not putting any like weird, you know, contingencies on there. Now there's, you know, all money. Here's the, here's the fine print. And I love this because I put this together down below. Here's the, here's the money back guarantee. Here's the fine print of it. You ready? Okay. There's, there's no like, you have to make hundred percent. Listen, if you're not completely satisfied after three months, get your money back. It's $297. What do we care? It's $297. It's nothing. Okay. But I am going to tell you this. You have to do 10 trades. Come on. That's fair. 10 trades using the black book spread criteria in the next three months, okay? Number two, you have to have at least $2,000 in your account because somebody, oh, I only have $297. Well, that's what the course costs, right? Number three, okay, you have to follow our criteria. Don't make your own crap up. I'm telling you, if you follow our criteria for black book spreads, we're pretty sure you're going to be satisfied. Number four, provide real account statements. This ain't paper trading, people. If you're not willing to put some skin into the game, okay, then neither are we. 
but to make it a riskless trade, we think that's completely and utterly fair. Trade with us. Three months, 10 trades. By the way, okay, we're going to do more than 10 trades. Come on, 10 trades in the next three months. Follow our trades. You don't like our trades? Fine. Okay, we got it. We totally got it, right? But I'm telling you, that's one of the reasons we do this because we are really, okay, into the depth of the criteria. And the criteria will speak for itself. That's why we're comfortable saying, hey, trade with us over the next three months. You're not satisfied? We get it. Just shoot us an email, okay? Send us over the trades and receive a full refund if you're not completely satisfied. Listen, Theo Trade, get into it now. We're going to work with you directly. We give tonight 30 spots on the Theo Trade riskless deal. And I want to make that clear. 30 spots in the Theo Trade riskless deal. The reason we do that, there are what? Almost 1,000 people logged in tonight. Just shy of 1,000 people logged in tonight live. Okay. We'll give 30 of you riskless deal. We cannot look through 1,000 okay, individual accounts. There's just no way we can do it. So we do the riskless trade deal for the first 30 people that enroll tonight. It's done. Okay. And we do that because, again, we give you unlimited email mentoring. We let you send us our trades and bounce ideas off of us over here. And you can send us your trades and we'll review the trades. But that's why we do it for 30 people. $297 is a riskless offer. It's never been available for black book spreads because black book spreads, it'll take us a long time to go through. Like 10 trades, even going through 30 individuals is a lot. And that's why I'm telling you again, we've made it a completely riskless deal. All right. What our members are saying. Thanks, Theo Trade. I'm up $4,000 this week. Fantastic service. I became self directed with my trading education that I got here. This is from James S. Okay. I just want you, okay, to let Don know how much I appreciate him and what he does for the first time ever. My account's in the green. Um, from uh, this is a, another, it's a gym in Missouri. I'm just going to detail everything. We're going to go over to the other site. I want to show you a little bit about Theo Trade. Then I'm going to answer a couple of questions because I, uh, I definitely, definitely see a few of them in here that I'm going to, uh, to try to help you out with. But again, everything you're getting here tonight, Theo Trade, the access, it's $297, and I just want to make that clear. So that includes the guide to small account growth with black book spreads. That's the course that's coming up this Thursday. All right. Bonus number one, we give you three months access to everything we do here at Theo Trade, and everything includes six hours per day, okay, of live trading. And again, what is what does that really look like? What does it come down to? We talk about live live trading. We've mentioned that a few times. This is what it looks like. All right. Welcome to Theo Trade. This is our trading chat room. This is says off air right now. By the way, we're we're even posting in the chat room, growing a small account with black book spreads. Matt Don, live Thursday, February 6, 10 to 2. Okay. And kind of scroll through. These are just other traders. Okay. Everybody gets to uh, everybody gets to talk. It's uh, it's a little bit of a free-for-all inside of the chat room here for the day-to-day -day basis. But again, we have thousands of individuals. Uh, so everybody knows there's approximately four thousand people right now into uh, into Theo trade. So uh, in a given course of a day, we'll have over 2,000 people cross through that chat room. We broadcast right here during the trading session. All right. The next thing, again, we text out uh, emails uh, and text ideas of, in terms of trades. What does that look like? Let me take you back to the site for one second. Come back over to TheoTrade. Right here is portfolios. That's our portfolios. The duration portfolio. Infinity Trader. Okay, in out spread, selling premium portfolio. There's a Theo Trade tracker. Okay, so we're detailing. Okay, but now we also even have an entire portfolio. Specifically, these are updates that I'm doing weekly. Okay, on individual trades. So it's it's just yeah, it's a portfolio. We send out trades, but then we do these detailed explanations about the trades, right? Like Infinity Trader, you can click on this. You can say like, all right, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that trade is. Weekly, we'll update this particular portfolio and say, this is what we're doing. Any moves that we've made, it's all in there. Okay, It's important that you guys know that. All right, daily coaching sessions with 10 hours of live support. Obviously, you can email us at any point. Okay, Next, 88 classes. There's day trading, swing trading, technical trading, okay, beginner options trading, advanced options trading, new monthly classes. Let me show you that for just a second. Okay, While I'm doing that, Go right over here to theotrade.com forward slash BB. If you take a look, when you say like, uh, here's the start here menu, okay? But we also have what? The archives. Let me show you what our archives look like. 
All right. So this is the Theotrade classes archive. These are all the classes that we have. First of all, we're broken down into genre of trade. It's genre of trade. Options, option newbies, technical analysis, day trading. Okay. Stock classes, futures classes, hedging classes, trend trading. All right. Pairs trading, mindset. Okay? There's a mindset class in here that we originally hosted on the site. Okay. This class, I'm telling you, the five essential building blocks to successful trading, that class alone is easily worth $1,000. Okay? People are like feverishly, don't worry about writing it down right now. You'll have access to it. You have access to everything. You want to see what the option strategies classes look like? I'm telling you right now, I don't care where you go at any amount of money. You're not going to find the details that we have inside of our archive. Okay. This is the option strategy classes. Okay. Many of these, again, this is my genre. Like I'm the options geek of Theo Trade, Duration Iron Condors, okay, Fruit Fly. That's actually one of Matt's classes, consistent, you know, uh strategies for small account growth formula, uh, guide to maximum edge trading earnings. So all of the straddles class, another one from Matt, maximum returns with infinity spreads. You get access to every one of these. And by the way, if you're curious what, okay, what I, you know, do in a particular class or what Matt does in a class or what it looks like, I'm going to click on one of them. All right. This is one of our biggest classes that we've ever done here at Theotrade. And, okay, this is it. This is actually a class, okay, it's broken into multiple parts. So there's four part class. You download the slide deck right here. Okay. Anything we need to share with you, there's the link to share it. It's phenomenal. Okay. I also want you guys to know, and everybody always panics about this. There's a lot of classes in here. Do you need to watch these before Thursday? Of course not. Okay. Before Thursday, you know what? Hey, hop in the site, maybe watch, you know, one or two videos from the start here menu, and you're going to be fine. Okay. Don't panic. You don't need to watch 88 classes to understand what we're going to be doing on Thursday. Each class stands on its own. But yeah, we have all these ramp up materials to get you, okay, not just the right foot forward, okay, but successful in this business. And that's one of the most important aspects, okay, to us. Follow me here, because if you follow me to this link, we promised you the personal profit predictor. And we've got that. I'm going to show you where it is right now. Go to theotrade.com forward slash BB. That's theotrade.com forward slash boy boy. All right. I'm actually going to hop over to the site and I'm actually going to show you a couple of aspects on here. We do hop over to the site. Okay. You can chat with us live right there. We've actually, uh, when it says we are here, Stacy, Jeff, JP, they're all there to answer questions. You can chat with us live right now. Growing a small account with Black Book Spreads course, okay, provided by, of course, Matt Williamson and myself, Don Kaufman. Again, the class is live February 6th, okay? It is 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, Central. It includes access, all right, to what? The on-demand recording and everything that we've done here at Theotrade prior to, again, it's 88 courses in total. It's $297. As I said, the first 30 people in here, okay, totally riskless. By the way, I wanted to throw this up here because somebody else was asking once again for the uh, for the address, okay? I'm also going to answer a couple of questions about this. So it's theotrade.com forward slash BB. Now, okay, again, theotrade.com forward slash BB. Make sure everybody's everybody's got that. As I scroll down, okay, a number of the key points from the Black Book Spreads course, again, Everything you're going to need to trade these black book spreads okay, is part of this class on Thursday. And that's what we do here. We try to give you everything from what, you know, and I think the edge scraper tool kind of speaks for itself. Matt spent hundreds of hours working on this. All right. And then he gives it to you, part of the class, because you can't, you know, you can't dive in unless you have the tools, okay, in order to actually trade this. All right. Obviously, we give you three months access to Theo Trade. In addition to it, as I said, all the different proprietary indicators and scans, okay? The download, okay, for the personal profit predictor is right here down towards the bottom of the page. As I said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna answer a couple of questions right now. I also wanna take you one more time. If, you're, if you've never been into Theotrade before, okay, 
the start here menu. Okay, we have tons of tutorials of how to best use our site. Okay, we have our chat room. We share all the charts, the scans, the studies. Okay, and we have portfolios, all the different portfolios you can do, go through, archives, right? All of our coaching sessions, everything. Corey's Corner. This is specifically for those of you that want to swing trade. Okay, Corey Rosenblum provides his own kind of daily newsletter specifically for swing traders. It's all available to you. We just have, again, it's all encompassing site. And I think, again, that's, that's what uh, kind of speaks for itself. Last but not least on our site, we actually built almost like a, like a Google search engine. Type in any topic that you can think of, right? Volume weighted or volatility futures or VWAP. Type in any topic you can think of regarding trading. Hit enter, okay? And the reason we do that, it's actually going to take you specifically to topics, okay? Involving that optimism, oddly high, okay? Uh, Philly Fed manufacturing report just goes on and on. Anything, okay, that you can dream of in here. I like to type in like implied volatility rank. Go for it. You could type that in, boom, it'll hit results, okay? Breakouts, all right? It just goes on and on. There is so much in terms, okay, of trading strategies in here. You guys will be absolutely blown away. And I'm going to tell you right now, you know, when we ever we mention, you know, whatever we mention, like, ah, there's 88 classes in here. People go, okay, well, I'm totally overwhelmed. I don't know, would you rather be overwhelmed or underwhelmed going to a site? I'd rather be overwhelmed, and it is. But you got three months to actually pour through there, okay? People binge watch what we do here at Theotrade, just like they binge watch, you know, binge watch something on Netflix. I think it's a good thing. By the way, on our mobile application, you can even speed it up and listen to us at three times the speed. So, okay, a few things. I love it. Bart came in. He's like, I'm overwhelmed. You should be, okay? It's a lot of stuff. I'm going to answer a couple of questions, okay? By the way, uh, in the 30 riskless spots left, I'll tell you right now, um, Bart, I just mentioned your name a moment ago. Thank you for enrolling. It's Bart from Florida. There's uh, Roy from Florida, Gary from Nevada, James from Florida, William from Florida. Got a lot of Floridians in here. Uh, Charles from Ontario, Lucy from uh, Hawaii. We're all jealous, Lucy. We're all jealous. We're, we're just telling you right now. By the way, these are individuals that have just uh, enrolled for it. And I thank you guys. By the way, I also say this um, uh, you've just enrolled for Theotrade. Phenomenal. Join us tomorrow in the chat room, first thing. I am uh, on a day to day basis. I'm first up. I start broadcasting 6.20 Pacific time. 6.20 Pacific time. That's 9.20 okay, Eastern Standard Time. Brad from California. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm going to get to a couple of questions answered. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash BB. Here, to answer all the questions. First one that always comes up. And then we're going to answer some of the questions from the chat room specifically. Everybody always says, oh, well, what do you need to get started? I think you need a laptop. You need an internet connection. That's it, okay? By the way, somebody earlier said, can I use a Chromebook? Yep, you can use a Chromebook. You can even use an iPad. I mean, we have a mobile application, but you can use an iPad kind of coming through the browser and so forth. I do it all the time. Actually, I trade a lot off of an iPad that surprises people. I like it. You're like touching the market in the iPad. We have everything you need to get started from absolute novice to the most extreme, okay? The second thing, everybody always asks, is this a membership, okay? You know, I call everybody. I'm like, oh, they're members. We don't do memberships. We don't auto renew. We don't auto bill. We hate that stuff. Again, we came from the brokerage industry, right? We didn't like the regulators. Okay. We don't like, you know, being confined to anything. And we know you don't like being confined to anything, right? This is not a membership. We're not going to auto renew you. It's $297. If you leave us after three months, okay, I'm going to tell you right now, some people go after three months like it's it's overwhelming. I need a break. They take a month off. Everybody comes back. Okay, everybody comes back. We have four thousand people right now on Theotrade. Okay, it's huge. Theotrade. We archive everything. Okay, people always say, "Well, I work for a living. I can't do this. I can't." We archive everything. Every word we ever speak, we archive. But we understand that you can't watch live through each trading session. And when you're watching the archives, you can watch them at three times the speed, okay? You can fast forward, you can rewind. We even have what's called digital video recorder technologies, DVR. You can play us back like TiVo while we're live. Number four, we provide you access to Theotrade Mobile. You can download the archives and you can actually view them at 30,000 feet. You don't even have to have like a Wi-Fi connection. Watch them on an airplane, okay? Fly overseas a little bit, eh, fill up your time, watch some trading videos. Number five, you can email us at any time. After today is not the last time that we talk. Now, people are shocked. 
I send emails constantly. I spend at least three to four hours of my day every single day answering emails. Okay, if you're not spending three to four hours answering client emails, like I just sit here, I trade, answer a couple of emails, do a little dance. It's good. I like it. Okay, I've been doing that now for almost 20 years. I started getting into the brokerage world. Okay, right after Thinkorswim was developed in 2001, been answering emails ever since. It's like the, you know, it's a lifeblood in me. So trade related questions, we answer them. Six. Okay, you gain access to every course since Theo Trade. Okay, has been around. It's four years. Classes, coaching sessions, live, every archive. They're all searchable. Just wanted to make that you know clear. Number seven over here. All of the trades that we talk about can be done inside of an IRA retirement account. You have to have two thousand dollars in the account. Like if there's like one requirement we have here. Okay, that's not our requirement. The Securities Exchange Commission says if you want to trade spreads, technically you have to have two thousand dollars in the account. Okay, Theo Trade can help you get approved for options trading. People always come to us and say, I can't, can't get, okay, approved. If you can't get approved, we can get you approved. <laughs> um, by the way, we have a couple of brokers that we work with. We work with TD Ameritrade, okay? We work with E-Trade, we work with Tastyworks. So we work with a lot of the different brokerage firms. And um, you know, I know everybody that runs those brokerage firms because we all work together at one point in time. Remember, there are 30 riskless trade splats available. Speaking of which, um, I think I already got Brad T. from California. Thank you. Bob C. from Massachusetts. Uh, Mead from Florida. Stephen E. from uh, Massachusetts. Jerry L. from California. Um, Pradip from Jersey. Okay. Thank you all for enrolling tonight. Again, please, tomorrow, say like, hey, I signed up last night. I'm new here in the chat room. Come in there right at the cash open. We, uh, we'll see you in there. Listen, get results, take action, and roll for Theo Trade. There's just no risk to you. It's theotrade.com forward slash BB. All right. Last thing, okay? Our members. You guys are rocking it. Very impressed. It's really refreshing, okay, to have you guys putting this together and sharing knowledge and not upselling everything and turning and burning your customer base. You've got a customer, okay, for life in me because of this approach. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. It's from David. I just, I love that one because it's a big reason, one of the, you know, how we put this thing together here at Theotre. It's, it's important to us that you guys, you know, know that time. And again, I hammer that, uh, I hammer that home to, uh, to everybody. So we're going to answer a few more questions here tonight. Again, this web address is theotrade.com forward slash BB. By the way, click right here, add to cart. I just want to show you guys what it looks like because there's always questions that come up. Add to cart. Um, it's $297 this evening. It becomes riskless if you're in the first 30 uh, individuals over here. That's the Black Book Spread course. The Black Book Spreads, again, it's going to be live on Thursday. And this one, we're doing it during the trading session. We wanted to make it a little bit more dynamic, so we're going to do it during the trading session. But if you can't watch it during the trading session, watch it that night. Watch it the next day. It's fine. Watch it on the weekend. You have no more football, people. Okay? This is it. This is, uh, this is it for us. So it's theotrade.com forward slash BB. You know, um, I saw John actually came in earlier, okay? I actually know John. I know John from many, many years ago. He says, so uh, you don't use stop orders. I'm going to tell you, you don't, you don't need to use stop orders with the types of trades that we are, okay? We don't need stop orders, the type of trades we're placing. They're going to be, okay, defined risk. And I, I just, I want to stress that to make sure everybody... Okay, understands that. Um, all right, so uh, I'm just just reading back over here. Okay, again, it's good. <laughs> You're overwhelmed. So um, yeah. By the way, again, there's another. You know, couple people asking about different brokerage accounts and so forth. Hey, listen, we'll send you emails after this. Feel free. You know, after enrolling tonight, shoot us an email. You know, there was somebody from Canada that said, you know, who should I use up in Canada? We'll walk you through everything. Okay, from a brokerage firm in Canada, okay, to what brokerage firm we feel might be the best right now in the US, okay, any apprehension you have about placing trades, okay, we get it. That's what we're here for. Again, I'm Don Kaufman. I want to thank Matt Williamson. Go to theotrade.com forward slash BB. Uh, again, if you need to get a hold of us after this evening, support at theotrade.com. You can get a hold of myself or Matt 
Jeff or JP or any of us were here to help. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here this evening. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.